Biological diversity refers to both the genetic variability among individuals of a species and the abundance of individuals within a species. Biodiversity is declining due to habitat modification, species introductions, and hunting. First, we will look at the effects of habitat modification. For thousands of years, humans have been altering animal and plant species and their habitats. The likelihood of environmental zones to be restored to their former condition is almost hopeless. The world land area as a whole had an estimated 26% that is subject to severe levels of human degradation, 20% moderate and 18% light, meaning that 64% of the world's land area is degraded by economic and human activity. The greatest concerns of habitat loss is in the world's rainforests which are being cleared at a rate approaching 1% per year and about 55% of the total has already been cleared. Next, we will talk about the effects of species introductions. Humans can also be held responsible for the spread of species into new areas. As we keep placing foreign species within native species, threat of extinction begins to increase. In addition, humans have created habitats that favor some species over others. One example is in Florida, where biological invaders cause state expenses of nearly $25 million a year to combat exotic flora in order to protect agriculture and tourism. Last are the effects of hunting. Hunting is the third major cause of species extinction. One example is the black rhinoceros of Africa. Because of poaching, its numbers have dropped in the past 40 years from 65,000 to 4,000. Sport hunting is also a problem in some areas. An example of this is in the passenger pigeon whose population is 1,810, was about 5 billion, but during the 19th century sports hunters would kill these birds by the hundreds. The passenger pigeon became extinct by 1899 and the last one died in the Cincinnati, Ohio Zoo in 1914. There is little to be done to prevent or restore this loss of biodiversity. We need to remember the beauty of nature and its species within it. By being aware that biodiversity loss is happening, we can try our best to reserve land and keep species away from endangerment. If we don't, then the species will be gone forever.